morning. I'm George Glass, CTO at the TM Forum, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Innovate Americas 2024. Our theme this year is seizing the opportunity with AI. We are at a critical inflection point in our industry, a decade focused on digital transformation, investing heavily in our networks and infrastructure, yet growth has stagnated. Shareholder value has been eroded, and we're becoming less attractive to investors. A digital economy around us that is growing at a 3x rate over non-digital, but we are struggling to keep place, pace with inflation. So it's clear from our perspective within the telecoms industry, the digital era has delivered all that it can deliver. 12 months ago, we called Code Red on the industry a call to find new pathways to growth, to delight our customers, and add shareholder value. Then AI was rocketing up the hype curve. Today, it's a reality. 12 months ago, ChatGPT was passing high school tests. Then it was passing the bar exam. Now it has been expelled from school. And some universities have actually implemented AI detection software to prevent students from using AI to write their essays. However, only 20, sorry, only 33% of businesses were using AI in 2023. Now, by our estimates, it's about 75%. And by the end of the decade, we believe 10% of the global population, that's 700 million people, will be using at least one AI tool in their daily lives. And today, 45% of US citizens report to using generative AI daily. Within the TRIUM Forum, AI has facilitated the next wave of modernization and innovation at a pace that we have never seen before, changing both us and our customers. There are members in this audience whose organizations are already achieving double-digit cost savings through AI and deploying unique use cases. Please see the example on the screens from AT&T, Bell, Tim Brazil, and Verizon, to name but a few. A recent TM Forum Moonshot Catalyst explored the potential of using AI to transform the revenue management lifecycle. It showed how to deliver a 30% increase in EBITDA and strategically enhancing operational efficiency. And a recent report by McKinsey estimated that nearly a 100 billion in incremental value and up to 180 billion in productivity gains can be released by the telco industry through the adoption of Gen AI alone. It is clear that AI represents a unique opportunity for us to change our trajectory and build a path back to growth. But this transformation will not be easy. It will mean taking big, bold decisions. We're only scratching the surface so far, in many cases bolting AI onto traditional operating models. Unlocking the potential of AI requires a much more radical mindset. We need to rethink our operating models for a world where businesses run AI first, end to end. As one senior leader told us, we need radical, not incremental change. This is our focus over the next two days, to collaborate and innovate together as an industry to reimagine how a telco will work in the AI era. We may be competitors, but within the TM Forum, we provide the neutral ground to collaborate. We're all here for the same reason, to ensure industry has a bright future, and to achieve that requires us to work together. To realize this, I believe we need a new North Star vision. What is the role of telco in this AI era? What will change? What stays the same? To answer that question, we have spoken to dozens of executives from leading service providers around the world about where they believe their growth will come from. In short, it comes down to focus on three core elements. Connect, 
protect, create, each of which addresses a critical area where operators can unlock new value. Let's take a look at each in turn. From a connection perspective, our core purpose as an industry has always been connecting people and businesses to what matters most, and it will remain central to our future. But despite our success in connecting the world, our current business model limits our ability to generate new revenue. The AI era will create new expectations of connectivity for flexible, reliable, and resilient connections. We will leverage AI to deliver on these objectives and opportunities. Selling connectivity as a service means leveraging concepts such as intent, which utilizes AI to translate a customer's business outcomes that they request into a set of service characteristics and using those service characteristics to configure available network resources to actually deliver the outcome the customer wants. It moves us away from selling network technology and actually selling connectivity as a service. Protect. Security is one of the fastest non-connectivity segments for our industry, growing at approximately 20% per annum. But again, we're only scratching the surface of this opportunity. Securing IT assets in the AI era is a significant concern, but also a growth opportunity as we become leaders in digital protection. Our role extends to protecting our customers, the broader digital ecosystem, and our own core businesses. And create. Future growth will not come from our own ideas entirely. The digital revolution is an example of what happens when you unleash an incredible powerful technology, and AI is just as significant. It unlocks new opportunities to innovate with this technology. Monetizing our IT and network services, security expertise, and inherent skills that other industries can find value in means opening up new systems and networks and new opportunities. Exposing business capabilities and data through platforms and standard APIs is crucial for driving innovation and growth with ideas coming from both within your organization and outside of our industry. Within the TM Forum, we're actually helping to drive that change by working closely with our industry leaders to understand the challenges that they face and collaboratively develop tools and processes to support them. We actually formed the executive network of CXOs to help guide our vision and actions at TM Forum. We call this network the 10100, and they're meeting here this week. And at TM Forum, we've been reimagining our own structure as an organization. We've listened to our members. We've optimized our way of working to add a multiplier effect to our members' transformation journeys through becoming AI-native telcos. We've identified three missions, which are no-regret moves, that our industry must pursue. Created by the industry, for the industry. These are essential, no-risk actions for an industry to follow that will contribute to reigniting growth. Those three missions are composable IT and ecosystems, autonomous network operations, and data and AI innovation. Let me expand on each one a little more. For composable IT and ecosystems, we've evolved the ODA blueprint into a modular plug and play, AI enabled, open software data and business architecture, expanding the use of open APIs, ODA components, and the very new ODA Canvas, our cloud-based DevOps environment, supporting a one-click deployment capability for your ODA components that leads to simplification of site reliability engineering and standardize your operations. This will help solve common service provider challenges fast, unlocking investment and actually accelerating agility and growth. With the reusable components, ODA creates the exciting opportunities for new revenues in the IoT space outside of the boundaries of the traditional telco by providing the architecture, the patterns, the APIs, the use cases to co-create with your partners in adjacent vertical industry solutions. 
when we look at autonomous network operations, enabling seamless end-to-end -end service delivery with highly automated network operations, will extend the ODA blueprint to bridge the gap between IT and networks. Introducing concepts such as intent-based operations, closed-loop controls, self-healing domains, intelligent orchestration, working collaboratively with the other SDOs, the standards organizations within our industry, we'll re realize the vision for a self-healing zero-touch network that can be operated at significantly lower operational costs than today's network. But a word of warning, if you try to deliver network monetization through APIs, it is essential to look at the entire ecosystem, the customer, the service provider, the supplier, the partner, and the developer, and make sure that the APIs exist within that ecosystem and ensure that there's a coherent set of standards around the structure of the APIs. Otherwise, we risk developing a set of network services that are disconnected from all of the other services that you're managing within the telco. And then finally, looking at data and AI innovation. We're looking to co-create to enable service providers to apply AI in practice with data-centric AI operations. We'll develop ongoing insights to update the ODA blueprint by embedding API, AI into the architecture through the processes and components as, ex, as opposed to bolting it on to existing operations. We've developed the modern data architecture that provides approved and auditable access to the correct data with the right permissions to use that data safely and securely to manage and operate AI at scale and developing intent-driven services where the customer describes the outcome that they want rather than ordering service-specific network technology, the autonomous network using AI delivers the connectivity services by utilizing available network resources. Each mission is interrelated. You can't do data and AI if you do and haven't designed it into your composable IT and ecosystems. You can't reach autonomous network level four that self-healing, self-configuring panacea that many of our service providers are aiming for if you haven't embedded AI into your design, operations, and processes. And you can't deliver ecosystems, solutions outside of the telco space efficiently and effectively if your IT doesn't support reusable business capabilities. ODA underpins all of our missions. The progress being made through our next generation industry standard open APIs and components with the associated certifications, the ODA Canvas, which is supported by all three hyperscalers, together with our information model SID, ETOM or business process model that's been augmented to accommodate AI. We are actually incorporating AI, which will be a transform transformative capability for our industry and critical to realize the opportunities presented by AI. To further support our industry, yesterday we announced the launch of Gamut, a creative AI maturity tool developed by the TM Forum in collaboration with AWS. Gamut is an interactive online tool built on data from over 200 leading AI experts that enable telcos to benchmark their AI maturity, both against regional peers and global leaders. It focuses on six pillars of generative AI maturity, technology understanding and maturity, organization responsibilities and skills, data readiness and availability, governance, privacy, compliance, and security, business objectives, and taking AI use cases into production. Its goal is to provide practical guidance and support to accelerate the development of AI first end-to-end -end solutions and later in this session, Samir from AWS will go into more detail on the initial findings on the data in his keynote. You can also attend these here can take the gamut assessment at Innovate Americas. So as we've seen, AI represents an opportunity for our industry to transform its operating model, to unlock new growth opportunities. But, and it's a big but, we need to find a clear vision and role in the competitive landscape that AI will create. We must act with courage and imagination. 
our solutions will utilize intent-based operations and evolve to embed AI end-to-end -end across our systems and processes. It's essential that we actually collaborate and innovate together as an industry to imagine how a telco will work in the AI era. We can learn from each other, strengthening existing partnerships and building new ones. I firmly believe that AI presents a tremendous opportunity for our industry. Let's seize that opportunity together. Thank you.